Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, guys. Y'all see this? Uh, Commander. Uh, what, 2012, I want to say? I don't, I can't forget what year it is, but it's the big body. The 47, guys. Um, uh, Jeep Commander. Okay, well, this thing done been through some hell. As far as rust go, I pretty much do not like working on rust buckets. But, uh, the pay that they produce can sometimes outweigh your wants <laughs> but you still got to keep the same mind guys now this thing is in for overheating okay now i just drove in the shop got it in the stall and in the air and lifted up inspected the underbody i was hoping i'd see some uh cooling leak at the water pump area which is typical but that's not the case in fact it came from another shop so i don't know now this thing has a fan clutch on it okay fan clutch typically uh, it must be heavy duty it has to be heavy duty with the hitch on the rear that's typically why they give the big body vehicles a fan clutch now pretty much guys this thing I can't see inside but that almost has to be in a electric fan also it's hard to maintain AC yes it is Okay, there's an electric fan. So, now the shop that it came from said the fan is working. I don't know if they mean the fan clutch <laughs> or the electric fan. I don't even, I'm not even sure if they knew it had an, uh, an electric fan, guys. The electric fan is very crucial. Okay, do you can't, car can't maintain efficient coolant with just the fan clutch. Okay, especially if there's AC and things like that and uh, a hitch on the back where they're pulling stuff okay typically they give the heavy duty vehicles both electric cooling fan and uh, a fan clutch so yes while you're running while the car is running the fan is actually yeah it's gonna turn it's belt driven okay now and uh i just got a closer look inside and now i can see that there is electric fan i don't know why uh, I, I don't hardly work on you know this older model obviously uh, we're talking fan clutch things like that so the engine is running now you guys know if I turn this AC on pretty much that fan should kick on let me see where is the AC it's kind of making noise let me put it on max AC with research all the way cold okay now i have the research on and the ac guys you get max cooling with research never forget that okay let's see what this fan is doing all right guys if y'all can see in there you can see that electric fan is not running okay that is not good electric fan the fan clutch is not gonna pull air through the condenser and the radiator efficiently enough to allow for uh, uh, proper AC cooling okay so we obviously got a problem with that fan so what I'm gonna do because that fan is tied in with the computer there's a chance that I likely can see or likely actuate that fan in order to do my testing okay let me turn it off now uh, let me turn this thing on. Okay, uh, somewhere down here, guys, there is a a connector. Uh, it it supplies the fan with power supply. That looks like it down there. So I might have to get it from the top. But for now, what I'm gonna do is tie into the computer. Let me hook my scan tool up. We're gonna do something right quick. All right. All right, so I have the key on. I got my scan tool inside. Let's go to the computer. All right, guys, here we go. I have this pulled up. And as you can see, there's several fault codes in several of these PCM. All right, whoa, one in the sunroof. Lightning bolts represent a flash update, but uh, this is a 2006 Jeep Commander with a 47 Magnum. Uh, we're interested in the PCM. That's where the fan is controlled. So... Uh, there's no flash update uh, DTC there's no DTC data miscellaneous function what we're interested in is actuator what I want to do 
is tell the computer manually tell the computer to turn on the fan here it is right here radiator cooling fan okay so what I'm gonna do is click that now I have a couple of options uh, I can manually make the fan just merely come on uh, off or either toggle I like to choose toggle guys because I'm gonna grab a test light and we're gonna test and see if we have power supply and ground as you all know with any electrical fan motor with any electrical motor period you have to have a power supply and a ground so let's choose toggle and we're gonna choose start now right now the computer is trying to command this fan to come on off on off on off on off all right what we're gonna do is go verify here's my test light first let's see if it's actually going on off on off on off on off and ladies and gentlemen it is uh not going on off on off on off now if you listen carefully you can hear a relay clicking let me shut up so y'all can hear y'all hear that that's the cooling fan relay trying to turn that fan on so it's likely sending power supply to the fan the fan just not coming on so while we in that mode guys I want to let the car up in the air so I can gain access to that connector what we're gonna do okay guys we're still in toggle mode right now all right so yes there's the cooling fan whoa this is all rusted up guys sometimes you can bang on this all right so what we need to check is power supply and ground it's a three wire setup so it's likely the main black wire is ground it's likely low speed and this is likely high speed okay so since i'm in this mode let me get this unplugged take a look inside the connector now what you want to do is grab a test light and uh since you don't know by hard which one is low speed we're just going to put our test light on either one of these and see if the test light light all right so let me try ground right here guys all right uh let's green wire oh there we go y'all see that it is toggling on off on off on off so now we all know I'm getting 12 volts at the low speed fan wire now we also need a ground okay so I want to say this pin right here is the ground now I'm having a hard time finding good grounds on here so you can use your test light to test this you can get your pigtail and put on this pin the ground pin and put your test lead back on here if your light doing like mine is doing toggling on off on off yes you know you're getting the power supply and a ground at the connector okay so basically the fan should be working let me plug it back in yep no fan operation with a power supply and ground and from the look of that fan guys it's likely burnt out okay so in order to start diagnosis or overheating troubleshooting we have to replace this electric fan first all right so this might be one of those cases where you have to start here but yes you will have to because I have a power supply and ground but my fan not working so I need a new fan all right it is internally open looks all rusted out uh, I can't tell how difficult this is to replace okay yeah you got a 10 millimeter right here and I assume one on this side and just pick straight up so it's not yeah like you have a straight shot up so it's not that difficult at all like I said I didn't see any cooling leak and the cooling is feel and uh yeah I know how a fan clutches that can give you some headaches especially if they're all rusted up so I'm gonna go with what I see is wrong and I can vis physically see the electric fan it's not operating I have it toggled on off on off on off I'm getting power supply at the connector but the fan is not coming on off on off on off all right so guys I'm gonna conclude this diagnosis uh, if a fan get here this looks pretty straightforward so I really don't see a need for me to film replacing the fan unless you guys want to see it um uh, in fact what the hell i just fire the camera up when the part get here if they buy it we gotta wait and see if they buy the uh repair okay approve the repair all right so with that being said guys let me wrap this up thanks for watching comment subscribe and i'll see y'all on the next video